Hello friends, my name is Dhanesh Gupta, Assistant Professor in Bianic Group of Colleges. Welcome you all on the behalf of Guru KPO. Today I will deliver my lecture on the concept of object oriented programming in C++. The main idea of object oriented programming is to combine the data and functions into a single unit. The characteristics of object oriented programming is to main emphasis on the data rather than the function. In this data is hiding and cannot be assessed outside the function. Uh, in object oriented programming, uh, uh, programs are divided into the object not in functions. The main concept of object oriented programming is first of all the class. It is the basic building block of object oriented programming. It is a template or blueprint of object. It never occupy the space in memory. There are the two types of data uh, member in uh, the variable declared in the class is known as data member and the functions are known as the member functions. The member of a class is of three types uh, can be assessed by three types public private and protected. If the members of the class are public then they can assess outside the class. If the member of the class is private, they cannot be assessed outside the class. The next is concept is object. Object is the instance of class or we can say that it is the variable of the class that we can declare. If the class is defined, then we can create the number of variable of that class. And when we declare the object, it occupies the space in the memory. The next concept is data encapsulation. Data encapsulation is the mechanism to binding data and function together into a single unit. From the data encapsulation, we can secure the data from the outside. Next is data abstraction is a process to know the essential features of without knowing the internal features. Next one is inheritance. Inheritance is a process of drive new class from the existing class. The new class is known as the drive class or uh, drive class or child class or we can say subclass and the existing class is known as parent class, super class or base class. The feature, uh, the characteristics of all the base class in inherited in the drive class or we can add additional features to the drive class. Inheritance is done in oops by five types first one is single inheritance multiple inheritance multi level inheritance hybrid inheritance and hierarchical inheritance the next concept is polymorphism it is the main concept of object oriented programming it is you know, polymorphism is derived from the greek word poly which means many and the morphous means forms that the ability of more than one form so we can define the polymorphism is the use of the same name to mo more than in one form. Next is dynamic binding. Binding referred to the function called to the code of the function is known as dynamic binding. It's known as binding. Binding is of two types, stating and dynamic binding. Stating binding is done and it is a linking at the time of runtime is at the uh, sorry. St static binding is done at the time of compiler and dynamic binding is done at the time of runtime. So, so these are the concept of object oriented programming. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. For, for further details for about this, kindly log on to www.brukpo.com.